Hello, this is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. Did you know that April is National Organ Donor Awareness Month? So today I'm gonna to be talking about organ donation and much of the information that I come uh, mentioned today comes from a website, donatelife.net. But there's other sources and you can Google any of them to get more information. So this talk is to focus on how critically important organ and tissue donation is in terms of saving lives. There are far more people in need of organ transplants than there are organs available. And there are two major types of uh, donation. One is deceased donation, and that's when at the time of a person's death, they donate their organs or tissues or their eyes for transplantation to another person. And that literally means at the end of your life, you can give life to others. One deceased donor can save up to eight lives, restore sight to two people, and heal more than 75 lives through tissue donation. The other major type is living donation, which offers a chance where a living person donates either a kidney or a part of their liver to someone who is in need of an organ transplant. So do you know what organs can be transplanted? Well, as of today, the following uh, transplants are done on the heart, the lungs, the kidney, the liver, the intestines, the pancreas, the cornea, and tissue. And tissues that can be donated include the eyes and cornea, heart valves, bone and associated tissue, skin, veins and arteries, and nerves. So people of all ages and medical histories should consider themselves potential donors, and your medical condition, if you're a deceased donor, will determine what organs and tissues can be donated. Now, living a little more on living donation, and I wanna give a shout out to an anonymous individual who recently donated part of his liver to his dad. They have recovered, they're both doing well, and I am so proud of this young man and so happy for this family. But again, the two organs that currently uh, are don doing uh, living donor transplants include the kidneys, because we can live with one healthy functioning kidney. Uh, on average, a donated kidney will last 15 years in, in the transplant recipient. And the liver, liver donation is possible because there are two lobes to the liver. One lobe can be donated to someone in need and both lobes will regenerate to normal size and function within six to 12 weeks in the living donor liver. So uh, living donor liver uh, is an option for someone who needs a transplant who's a match. Now you have to be screened to be a living donor. You get financial screening, educational counseling. You have to have surgery. Your insurance will need to approve it in advance. So it's, it's a process and it's a well done process at most academic medical centers. So that's my message today. I hope that you will consider uh, becoming an organ donor, uh, at least a deceased donor, if, if that's a better option for you. And remember that there's no evidence that a living donation shortens the lifespan. Take care, I hope this is informative and I do encourage you to get more information online.